Hey, what's going on, students? Mr. Poggio. I uh, got an introduction to coding and task number one, which is Flower Turtle, for our Coding Corona project. So this is the second video. This is after the introduction video. Um, I was having some fun with that. I made it a, a secret uh, mission, secret agent. So most of the rest of these videos are going to be more uh, specific to what we need to do with coding. Uh, we got an agenda and some updates, of course. Um, on our agenda, I'll show you an introduction on uh, Nova today, SL Nova and Code. I'll explain the PowerPoint and block definitions that you have in your Google Drive and on Schoology, and the task for Flower Turtle, and the extension that you have to do by making more petals than five and changing the color of the flower. And then there's also another extension called Painting Turtles I'm going to introduce right now. And lastly, I know I am still coding my project, the USA population. I haven't done or shared my model with you guys yet. And don't worry, that is coming soon. Uh, some updates. So uh, looks like Schoology discussions. If you have a like, that means you got your five points. So I'll click a like when I go through and I read your Schoology comments. Just a heads up. That's how that grading works in Aries. Uh, make sure you email Mrs. Q, Quintero underscore L. Anything you share or email with me, get that to her. A uh, new hat challenge. So I got my Laker hat on today. Uh, go Lakers and uh, miss you, Kobe. But I thought just for fun, leave some comments down in the video and uh, leave some comments specifically on your favorite team or a hat that you think is cool. And I'll start wearing a, a hat for these videos that's unique and different every time. thought that'd be fun. 1918 Spanish flu task. You watch a video and you had a Google Doc that was copyable to you. Uh, some people like to handwrite that and that was cool. I got some pictures of handwritten assignments. Totally okay. Makes sense to me. I guess you're handwriting while you're watching the video. So either way is good. Khan Academy, a huge $250,000 college scholarship opportunity for a three-minute video about coronavirus. That's literally what we're doing with our code. So I'll talk to you guys more about that, how we're going to submit your videos to uh, this pretty cool grant opportunity. Um, all your grades are all updated as of right now. Totally done. Every discussion, everything you've done at this point in time right now, uh, which is Wednesday night. And thank you guys for doing synchronous learning with me on Schoology. Um, that's where we're doing a lot of our coding. That's really going to be what that time frame is going to look like. Show me your code and let's talk about code. So if you look at your weekly tasks that I email you out and again have on uh, Schoology, you're going to see that you guys already since this is Wednesday I'm a bit behind you've done the flu video that's Monday Tuesday you're watching videos or you watch videos today on coding corona star logo nova and systems um, complex systems and now you're going to get started with flower turtle today or tomorrow on Thursday and then Friday you'll finish up flower turtle so here are the links for the videos and your flower turtles where I'm going to spend most of my time talking today since this is introduction to coding so this is important because if you get to your task which is your complete worksheet here on flower turtle when you open it up i want to let you know that you have all of those documents that i'm talking about and showing you right here there's your coding corona powerpoint there's your blocks and definitions so let's start with our powerpoint so we're talking about complex systems and computer modeling that's what this whole idea is with code and project guts I usually do a turn and walk activity where I take my whole class and I'll take, I would take you guys out to the uh, basketball courts and I would say, go somewhere randomly on one court. And then I would say, find the person to your left. I'd ask you to stay still. And I'd say, rotate your body towards that person. Now close your eyes and take three steps. And then I'd say, after you guys all did that, I'd say again, okay, now again, find that person to your left. Close your eyes, rotate your body to them and take three steps. And we do the same iteration over and over and over. That's called an iteration as an agent. And you would be an agent and you'd see it kind of form like this circle. So you're going to get a chance here. I encourage you to go to Coding Corona uh, PowerPoint and click on the SL Nova Guts project. This project will take you right to some code that's already coded for you. You just get to play with the simulation. So the code is written. We can't even go... Um, manipulate the code they actually block us from from using the code on this and you just get to see their simulation so exactly what i was explaining to you a moment ago there you go see i can't go down that's it you could set up a uh, scattered format so there's a bunch of turtles see all those colors so hopefully you could see those dots and if you ask them to turn on walk, turn and walk once they'll turn and walk once towards the person it looks like to the right now and they'll do it again and do it again and do it again or i could have them do it continuously forever there's your forever turn and walk 
And guess what shape they would eventually make? That's correct, a circle. You could argue it's not a perfect circle, but if I increase the speed of their iterations up here, you'll see that circle become more and more defined and eventually they would all run on top of one another. I'll stop it, turn and walk, and you could go play with that more. In fact, you could set it up as uniform, so instead of being scattered, they're exactly already in a circle, but I like the scattered setup because you get a better idea of iterations and how complex systems have certain patterns. And you're gonna be doing this with the win set up, button is pushed, and while forever is toggled. This is the most basic of um, all blocks that you're gonna use because when you go to your code, and again, if you look at your tasks, Mrs. Q already made a video for you guys. So I'll show you her video too for the basic flower turtle. And as she's going through her video, she'll show you how she adds when setup is pushed because up at the top of Spaceland up here, whenever you hit setup, you're gonna have certain commands and this is the command center right here when setup is pushed. And you'll see eventually Q is gonna tell her world that when setup, and that's why it's on the world tab here, when setup is pushed, everyone will be deleted. You will clear terrain and you will create five turtles so that no matter what the, the turtles will be cleared out and you'll have a new simulation every single time. So that's why you got to delete and clear terrain. And then eventually she's going to ask him to move around and you'll see what she writes in the turtle tab. Now she's telling the turtles move forward once and turn left. I think she does by 15 degrees and make sure your pen is down. Pen is down just means that particular block is telling you that you're going to make a trail of wherever that agent or that dot or that turtle goes. So between your world tab and your turtle tab, again, you'll have the document that is right here. It is also in one of uh, your link documents for your things for the week. You'll see Q's video has this document a half screen and then her code half screen. So I highly encourage you to go there and watch and finish up her video. But she's explaining to you how she's using the buttons here while forever is toggled and when setup is pushed because when she did her code, You could see she's making her five turtles make the, uh, make the flower shape because she hits set up here to set up her world. And then forever is the button that's like stop and go. Forever just means it's running iterations of what you're telling the turtles to do over and over and over and over. So you're gonna get used to this terminology and it all comes in between these blocks. This is your starter block when setup is pushed. And then when forever is run just means you're doing that iteration over and over and over. You watched this video the other day on complex, adapt complex adaptive systems. You have some vocabulary with it. And again, you're gonna hear these terms that I'm using over and over here as we code. And now you're gonna get into painting turtles. Uh, remember this in your specific space line. In fact, I'm gonna pause you guys and take you to your coding folder one more time. Remember, you have a, a coding, coding folder in drive it's not just a coding coding excuse me coding folder you have uh, instruction by week there assignments by day i even take uh, my notes that i talked to you guys and showed you earlier in this video but we're going to go to coding corona and again this link is pretty much everywhere but you want to take the one that says blocks and their definitions blocks and their definitions is something you really want to spend some time just getting comfortable with but it's going to tell you every single block and what you're hearing me explain right now and tell you the exact definition and how they're used in the SL Nova or the code.org platform, specifically SL Nova, the one we're using, but this is code blocking. And I encourage you to go to, and I leave a note, go to the last two pages, in particular page 18. By the way, you could actually code um, your agents to be dogs, giraffes, you know other organisms there is a other models as well in this platform but these two right here these last two are your most important if you have a printer at home i highly suggest printing out this this tells you every block between uh, your interface your environment detection um, agents and all of these blocks are categorized by what they do in your space land and the commands they tell your space land so i would print that out if you have a printer if not i would leave this tab open while you're coding and important here know your angles so i would read through this last page too in more detail but think of your space land as an xy axis that's like graph paper if you look at the origin zero zero you're gonna have the first quadrant here your positive quadrant 
you're going to be able to go 50 paces or 50 units or 50 steps for your agent all the way to the end of spaceland so it goes 50 on the x-axis by y-axis at 50 and then of course negative 50 on the x-axis and then negative 50 on the y-axis so quadrant one two three and four so this is the spacing of your space land and right here is really your uh, big setup too of understanding too of a thinking challenge so and now that we're getting a little bit more comfortable on what we're talking about with coding in the uh, sl nova platform you could go take a guided tour there i also sent you a link and i'll put it in the descriptions below on how to set up your sl nova i'm not even going to get into that if you uh you guys know how to set up your snap snaps your insta hams i'm pretty sure you could set up a login and a username for sl nova so i'll send you a video for that but you could figure it out here's your flower turtles task and what q is helping you out with q did this one up here which is your basic flower and for your task to be complete again you're we're on a mission here secret agents to be complete you need to go beyond what miss q did for you which was create your five turtles uh set you up with the setup button and when setup is pushed those turtles move and leave a pen with their pens down that look like this white five petaled flower well in order to get credit for the first task you need to and you must add more petals and change the color of the flower to complete your task and some examples look like this some people if you want to make two flowers um, i challenge some students to change their flower because there is a transport uh, block where you could transport within spaceland which by the way the transport in fact let me go find that for you here's another fun thing you could leave in the comments your transport button let me see where do i have your tasks or your blocks Sorry, you guys, I got to find your blocks one more time. Here we go. If you use the transport to move your flower around. Wow, it's not on that specific. That might be up here. But if you use your transport button block, yeah, I'm not going to go through all these. You'll have an X, Y, and Z axis. Um, X and Y is what I just talked to you guys about. Just in the comments if you want to put down what is the z axis so if you don't know what the z axis is i'll tell you guys later but what is the z axis so you can move your flower instead of being a, it's being in the origin and lastly addition to flower turtle uh here's the world tab here's a secret to what you're going to want to use when it comes to blocks in your world tab here's the blocks that you're going to want to use in your turtle tab so there's a secret there um, but here's another extension you can create modern art and you're going to remix which means whenever you remix in sl nova it's like making a second copy so remix your flower turtle and change the name of it to painting turtles and instead of making them turn in a perfect circle every time and making flower petals what i want to have you guys do is create your turtles have these turtles move across your space land uh, leaving trails and have a slight wiggle to their walk. So I want you to have them move randomly a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. Uh, take a look into how you could do that and changing colors. And the last thing I do want to let you guys know as you're going through with your coding, because that's, uh, I think, our last slide here. As you're going through with your coding, uh, remember, you're always going to want to hit save and run code, save and run code before you hit the all important buttons, which are uh, forever well first you want to set up your world and then forever is going to run and tell your turtles or your agents what you want them to do so before you hit set up and forever just really get used to run code save run code save set up forever run code save set up forever run code save set up forever and uh, if you really get stuck sometimes you have to refresh so i hope that helps you guys out i think that goes through all beginning coding um some other terms to remember you've probably heard me say a lot of these as we've gone through but um, you'll see a little bit more on my model soon. I hope to get you guys uh, my model of um, how COVID will, in my theory, spread through the population of the United States. And my model will be, again, what you guys will do for your final project. So that's me literally making a model of your project, which is a computer simulated model for my theory of how the United States will deal with the spread of COVID in the future. A lot of talking. Hope that helps. That's an introduction to coding. I haven't touched the platforms. That's what I want you to do. And again, trust me when I tell you, 
go to Q's video. She already has you set up. I'll put in the links. Start there. Start with a basic flower and then have some fun from there. Get coding. See you guys.